Hey, hello, my dear Swift learners. How are you all? I hope that everyone is fine at their homes. And here I am back with another new session for you all. So today we are going to study about light. It is our session number three. And before starting, we will be seeing the platform at which we are studying on. So Swift Learn, it is the platform and it is India's most sincere learning destination wherein you get provided with the classes for grade 1 to grade 10. Over here you will be getting interactive classes in which every batch will be containing 6 students maximum. And apart from teachers, you also have academic mentor team to track on your progress and to guide you. Also, we cover the syllabus as per your school exam schedule so that you perform amazingly well there also. And then there are some of the more key features like we have detailed progress report, we have Swift Learn Academic Test Series and Unlimited Practice Test. So the practice test, they have two categories, subjective and objective. And you can also pra practice answer writing for your school exams. Then all the thing all the things you can see over here and you can book your free trial class at swift learn to have this amazing experience yourself and also please subscribe to the channel of swift learn and press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on any update and if you like this video press on like button so light we are going to study it's ab about part third and now if you have missed out on any video like first session or the second session you can go to Swiftlin channel the videos are listed there all right so what are the things that we are going to cover today we are going to see the type of image like real and virtual what is meant by lateral inversion what are the characteristics of any image formed by plane mirror and what is meant by regular irregular reflection so let's get started in the previous class, we uh, learned about the type of image which is formed by plane mirror. And that is known as virtual image, right? So plane mirror, it forms virtual image. And what is meant by virtual image? It is uh, meant that the light rays, they do not actually meet, but they appear to come from image. Okay, so that is meant by virtual image. And let us study more about these images. So when any mirror it reflects the light image is formed. Okay. So what is image? It is a kind of replica or a copy of the object. Okay. Which is formed by reflection or refraction. Talking about the type of images. We have two type of images. Real and virtual. What is real image? It is a kind of true image that forms in front of a mirror. When the reflected rays are actually meeting at a point. And the virtual image, it appears to be on other side of the mirror, okay, and that side actually, uh, that image actually doesn't really exist. So let's see a kind of detailed difference between real and virtual image. Real image, they are inverted and virtual image are erect. So real image, they are inverted. So top will be like bottom and bottom will be top. And virtual images are erect. Convex lens they form real image but concave lens form virtual image. So we will be learning about lenses also in our further sessions. Real image they are actually formed on the screen but virtual image they appear to be on the lens or the mirror itself. It is formed by concave mirror so that, that is the difference. See lens and mirror they are just opposite. So real images are formed by concave mirror or convex lens and virtual images they are formed by plane convex mirror or concave lens next real images are formed due to actual intersection of light rays so the light rays they actually intersect and virtual images they are formed due to imaginary intersection now if i talk or if i tell you to raise your left hand in front of a mirror and tell what do you observe so if you raise left hand in front of mirror it will be appeared as your right hand okay like it will be appeared as opposite same thing if i talk about real life very common example have you seen ambulances the uh, top at the top of the ambulance it is written somewhat in this way right 
so it is something like this okay so why is it like this because in the mirror of the vehicles this particular letters are seen as ambulance okay so that people can see what is there behind them and they can give the sight to ambulance okay so in the side view of uh, side mirror of vehicles this words they are seen as ambulance okay so why does this happen that we are able to read in a correct way when we see through mirror so the uh, mirrors which are used in this rear view uh, of vehicles these are convex mirrors okay and that is why we are able to see the spelling of ambulance in a particular correct order okay even if it is written in some other in opposite order okay so what is happening is the reflection is happening and the words they get laterally inverted okay so if i talk about b so this b it will be appearing as this c it will be appear this c it will be appearing as c okay so this is what is known as lateral inversion now lateral inversion is the effect produced by any plane mirror in which left becomes the right side okay and this is the reason why ambulance is written in that particular format so that we can see it properly in the rear view of vehicles talking about the properties of image formed by any plane mirror first of all it is same size as the object then the same size uh, the same size and distance behind the mirror it is same as the object is in the front of mirror for example if i talk about any object which is kept here and the distance between it is 1 meter okay so the image will be formed 1 meter behind the mirror only okay and it is laterally inverted and virtual so again this b it will be appearing as this now we have already studied about the image which is formed by plane mirror now we are going to see some of the characteristics of any image which is formed by plane mirror first it is virtual not real then it is laterally in inverted we just now saw how and the image is erect next properties are the size is same as the size of object the size of image and object are same and the distance between image obtained it is same as the distance between object and the mirror now we have seen the reflection from smooth surfaces like plane mirror but it is not necessary that every time we will be having the smooth plane surface okay so we can also have irregular surface so on the basis of type of surface type of reflecting surface we are having two types of reflection regular reflection which is also known as specular reflection and diffused reflection now this is the image of regular reflection what you can see the rays are very nicely and very in you know a particular for pattern is there okay so what is regular or specular reflection it refers to a clear and sharp reflection like we get in a mirror okay and uh, since a mirror is made up of glass which is coated with this uniform layer okay so it becomes highly reflective okay and that is why we have regular reflection there so this particular surface it reflects all the light which is uh, striking on it or which is incident on it in a uniform pattern and there is not much variation in the angles of reflection between various points so we just now saw here yeah so all the angles here they are almost same okay and that is what leads to regular reflection okay and because of this regular reflection the haziness or the blurring of the images they are eliminated and we get a crystal clear picture now I'll see about diffused reflection so what happens in diffused reflection the reflected rays are not particularly or not not placed in a particular pattern so it happens because of the irregular surface or the surface which has very rough finish okay and this may be because of the destroyed uh, surface or because of wear and tear some uh, scratches or some dents or some dirt on the surface it leads to diffused reflection and because of diffused reflection we have this loss of brightness and quality of 
reflection in the cases of uh, having these rough surface what will happen the uh, points will be haphazarded that is the points will be here and there and we will not be getting a clear picture and the ray incident are slightly different points on the surface is reflected in completely different direction that means if this is our surface here okay if this is my incident ray so the reflected ray will be like this not following any particular pattern and that will this will lead to distorted image this type of reflection it is known as diffuse reflection which enables us to see the and is uh, uh, enables us to see non shiny objects now talking about the uses of plane mirror so very common use is in automobile torch light and they are also used in periscope or kaleidoscopes then we also use them as shaving mirror or by dentist mirrors are also used in solar cooker where they take in the light and reflect and that is how the food is cooked and they are also used for security and safety now let us see the questions give the characteristics of real image and virtual image so real image it can be seen on screen it is always inverted and it is formed when light when the light rays after reflection or refraction they meet at some point and here the light rays actually intersect and virtual it cannot be formed on screen it is always erect and the light rays they actually appear to meet but they do not meet and it is formed due to imaginary intersection of light ray so here talking about the type of reflection we have regular reflection over here since the patterns are very particular and very proper and this is irregular reflection fun facts traveling at the speed of light you could go around at 7.5 times in a second so that is how fast light travels scientists study the properties and behaviors of light and in this branch of physics it is known as optics and the speed of light it is exactly 299792 km per second so it's very 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 great two different type of lenses are placed on a sheet of paper how will you identify them without touching so without touching we can see by the letter so if the letters are appearing larger than usual then the lens will be convex lens if the uh, letters are appearing smaller then it will be concave lens so that is how we can identify them without even touching now let's see an activity to see whatever we have learnt okay so what kind of image it is formed by convex mirror so it is virtual image okay next which type of reflection it is shown here by the figure so it is irregular or diffused reflection and the third one dash images are formed due to actual intersection of rays so it is real image okay so what are the things that we have learned today we learned about real and virtual image the lateral inversion and what are the characteristics of any image formed by plane mirror we also saw some of the uses of plane mirror and saw the reflection types which is regular and irregular so i hope you might have got everything that we have learned today we will be meeting in another session in which we will be learning more things about mirrors and about light and if you have missed out on previous videos kindly go and check it out the videos are available on the swift learn channel and also book your free trial class on swift learn thank you let's meet in the next class